hello guys so in the previous video we have created this main menu in our game now in this video we are going to create some sound effects for our game like jump and hurt so for this we are going to use a software called bfxr which is used to make 8-bit sounds now to download this software uh, open up your browser and search for bfxr download and uh, click on this first link and from here we can download it either for windows or mac so click on windows and it will automatically download the zip file you can install it as you install any other software it is pretty straightforward i have already downloaded and installed it so you can install it and after installing double click on it to open it up now you will see this kind of interface when you open this program there are various buttons there are some pre-built sounds uh, that we get out of the box which is pick up coin laser explosion power of etc we can also create a randomized sound by clicking on this randomize button and uh, we can also we can also uh, modify these properties for each sound currently uh, we are on this jump sound so we for the you can uh, explore this software more but for our game we just need two sounds which is uh, which are jump and halt so we will use this uh, pre-built sounds now to create a new sound we just have to click on this button uh, of the jump or uh, halt or uh, uh, whichever you want to create currently the jump sound is already created uh, but i will create it anyways so click on this jump button to create a jump sound and you can click on this play to play the sound and you can preview it and you can also change the uh, properties of this sound now i will delete delete this jump to and i will use this first one and uh, i will also create a and now first of all we will export this created sound effect now to export any sound effect we have to click on this export wav now we will export it on our desktop so click on save you can see that uh, our sound is exported now we will also create a hurt sound for our game so let's click on this hit or hurt you can preview this and modify it as always you can also choose different synths from here like triangle tangent or sign but i will use this default one so i will uh, cancel this jump and export the hurt sound so click on export wave and uh, we will save it on the desktop now we can close this program you can of course uh, explore this more if you want but it is the two these two sounds are enough for our game you can also create some other sounds if you want so after creating these sounds go back to the unity editor and here in the assets folder we will create a new folder for keeping our sounds so let's name it as sounds and in here let's drag and drop these two sounds so select these two and drag them into the unity editor and in the sounds folder it will import it now you can preview it from here also by clicking on this play button 
now we have to go into this uh, sample scene you can rename this scene but i have not renamed it you can rename it to level one or something like that but for now it is okay so we will uh, we are here in our main game scene so we will drag and drop these two sounds into our scene so shift and drag and drop these two and it will create uh, two game objects and they will contain this audio source component and as an audio clip it will be our sound itself now these two are created on uh, the position 000 which is totally fine you can put it anywhere you want and uh, these components are uh, this comp this component which is audio source is responsible for uh, this uh, playing this sound now our main camera already has a audio listener so which is used to uh, uh, listen the sound in our scene uh, produced by the audio source now once we have created these two sounds uh, two game objects then we will go to our player moment script and we will reference it so let's make a public variable so public audio source and we will name it as jump sound now let's save it and uh, after that uh, click on the player uh, it is compiling so click on the player and uh, you can see that the player moment script has this jump sound field so drag and drop the uh, jump game object into this slot so now we will uh, play this jump sound whenever our player jumps and uh, uh, we have to uh, do few settings here we will shift select these two sound so shift select these two and uh, and tick this play on awake uh, so they will not play whenever our scene starts uh, but they will play whenever we call them from our script so make sure that this play on awake is not selected for both of them now we will also give a tag to our obstacle so let's create a tag as obst you can create a tag with uh, whichever name you want but i will uh, create this tag with obst name now we will assign it to the obstacle prefab now we want to play this sound whenever our player jumps so in the player moment script we will play it whenever we tap on the screen so let's say jump sound dot play now it will play the jump sound whenever our player jumps or we tap on the screen so now we want to play this jump uh, uh, heart sound whenever our player collides with the obstacle so let's first of all reference this right sound so probably audio source this sound now we want to play if the collided 
object is uh, obstacle so copy this if statement and paste it here and we will say collision dot compare tag to obst then we want to play this sound sound dot play but it will not play the sound currently because we are making time dot time scale equal to zero in the obstacle script here so we will not make it zero uh, so comment it now we can go back to the game manager script and here we can say that if the game is not over so not the game is game over so if the game is not over then we want to increase the score and now we will also make the obstacle speed to zero so to do this we will say if game manager because it is a static variable so we can access it from here also game manager dot is game over so if the game is not over then and then we want to increase the position of the obstacle so we will increment it uh, whenever the game is not over now after that it will work so let's save this and go back to unity now we can click on this player and drag and drop this hit sound to this hit, hit sound field now click on play and uh, now it will play the sound whenever it collides with the obstacle now we can say we can see that the spawner is spawning the obstacles so we will also uh, check here if the game is over or not so let's check if game manager dot is game over we will include a not sign in front of it so we want to spawn the obstacle if the game is not over so paste it here save this script and now we can see that it will not spawn the obstacle if the game is over okay so our sounds are working perfectly so this was it for this video in the next video we we will include the high score system so we will do it we will do it by player press so thank you for watching this video